Hey YouTube, going to show you a video on how to set up your Tracker Scratch Pro to be synchronized Wi-Fi over your network to another Tracker Scratch Pro. So here's all you got to do. It's not as complicated as you would think if you're using a Mac. And if I could get my phone to focus. So you want to go in your Applications folder. You go into your, the Utilities. Go into your Audio MIDI Setup. So when you go go there up there it says view, uh, reside window, show MIDI window. You double click on the network one. And if you didn't have a session here, you would just create a session. So let me just delete that session. I'm gonna add session one, enable it, it's enabled. Um I click on there because I have this set up on the other end on the other Mac. I'm not going to show you that because you should be able to figure that one out. If you do it on one, you can do it on the other. And then just hit connect. And we are connected. It says there's a participants right there. And that's my Mac Mini, which is right over there. So you want to make sure, leave this window open or it could shut down on you, right? So go in back to track your scratch. Uh, you're going to go under your controller manager and you're going to go up there and you want to add a generic MIDI, you edit it, you don't have to do this but I do it anyways, edit the comment and we're going to call it the MIDI clock. So you want your import, your, this is going to be the master, so the import doesn't really matter, but the out port is going to say session one. You're going to go into your MIDI clock and you're going to send the MIDI clock. Now here the latency is important, that's something we'll have to go over after because you don't have it set at zero. You're going to be playing around with it for a while till you find something that works between your systems. So close that up and hold on. Now over in this system here, all we need to double check is we're going to go up to the preferences. We're going to go into our controller manager and you want to do the same thing. You're going to add in this and of course the in session because it's receiving, right? When you get over here, well, close that up. Make sure that this external is turned on because it's receiving the MIDI clock information. And as you can see right now, it's setting the clock and it's kind of hovering around, bounces around a little bit. So here's where things get a bit difficult. You want to go in here real quickly on your output routing. I'm just using the internal sound card on this thing at the moment, but make sure your output monitor is the main for one and two. There's a reason because we're going to send this tick on. I'm going to turn my headphones there. We're going to go back over to the other system. And you can see the tick. I have the tick coming through the one speaker from that one. The reason it's only coming through the one is because I just have this patched in from the back of the Mac Mini into the back of the S4 into one of the channels. You can do that any which way you want. It doesn't really matter. So here when I go into my output routing, the reason it looks does left, because my monitor, my master I have the right channel going, and my monitor I have the left. So when I go over to this one here, I'll go full screen, I can see my stuff. When I turn my tick on, you probably can't tell so much, but I have a tick from my, this is my master tick, this is my slave tick. And this is just to get things aligned up. Hit sync up here. Takes a second. And this is where you want to go into your um, MIDI clock and change 
that. 29 milliseconds seems to work for me. Um, hopefully you can find some that works for you as well too. Just turn that tick off. Go over to the other one here. We'll turn the tick off over here. And I'm gonna change my master outputs. So that's one, that's two. Go back over here and we're gonna change this so everything's back to the way it's supposed to be. And we're gonna go our output. So master output, master left, master right. Make sure our monitors for the headphone monitor are hooked up. And we're going to start a song. Come over here and we'll see if this is all connected. And we appear to be all synchronized up here. And if it does seem like it's going out, just hit the sync. Hold it. And that's it. Have any questions about this stuff? Feel free to send me a message. Not 100% sure if I'll get back to you real quick here or not, but I'll try. Anyways, talk to you guys later.